Hi folks, what are you up here today? Well, uh, I've calmed down. I was quite upset when I went to the police, coming out of the police station. Uh, it was alright going in, but I was quite upset when I came out because I wanted to talk about the wider abuse of the Christian community and, and also the issue of street preaching. And I wanted to clarify the law and then I wanted to talk about not only the issues that have happened with me, but town councils and the, the, the way that some town councils can be discriminatory towards street preachers with their multiculturalism. Um, I wanted to talk about the arbitrariness of police uh, with street preachers. I haven't got any criticism of police, but different police stations de deal with street preachers in different ways, and I wanted to talk about that. I want to talk about the issue concerning the law and homosexuality and street preaching and that Christians are getting more and more abuse concerning that issue and I wanted to film it and then I was going to send it to the MPs but the guy saw the camera he didn't want to know and um, but I told the police officer what the issue was so they knew in the office what it was all about so there was di there was discrimination there because they did find out as that officer went in. Why I was there, I wanted to talk about discrimination and they wouldn't come out and talk about it. Um, and I just felt like, basically, even though the, the woman wanted, the, the officer wanted to know about a, a particular abusive time, uh, that my concerns and, and the sense of, uh, as a community and uh, myself, feeling that, you know, we're being discriminated against in this country, that issue was not taking record of, there was no record of it, no senior officer to talk to. And I believe that if I was an Imam, if I was a Muslim, uh, talking on behalf of the Muslim community, if I was someone uh, who was gay, who was talking on behalf of the gay community and we felt we were besieged, those concerns would have been listened to. But I wasn't even given any respect, I wasn't treated with any, any respect. And uh, the woman was on the phone, she was saying, oh, you know, don't talk to me like that. Uh, as if I was being aggressive when I wasn't. I was just upset. I was just upset for the fact that the fact that our concerns as Christians in this country were not being taken ser take, taken seriously. And I was really upset. And and I actually felt, but with that experience in that in that police station, I actually felt traumatized, really, because basically, my community, the Christian community in this country. Um, our concerns are not taken seriously, so I, I just felt I felt uh, traumatised by it, and I certainly don't want to talk to a police officer or the police. And I had no intentions of exposing them. I had no intentions of being critical of the police. I have an absolute well, I did have absolute confidence in the police, but now, to be honest, that whole experience just leaves me traumatised, and I feel that. Really, I don't want to be, I don't feel part of this nation as a Christian. I feel like this nation does not, con is not concerned about the Christian rights. It's concerned about Muslim rights, concerned about gay rights, but they're not concerned about Christian rights. And I had to form, you know, I had to, I had to form the police. I had to form the police in a, a police police station, I was in a police station and I had to phone the police to tell them about the police in the police station. I mean, talk about wasting people's time, wasting my time, wasting their time. Um, you couldn't make it up, so so I'm calm down now, I'm at peace, but to be honest, it's left me empty inside, makes me feel that this country is absolutely in a mess. That you can't even go and have a decent conversation. He was saying, they were saying about the camera. They get, they get the media. They get all sorts of people going in with cameras. Uh, they get filmed on the streets, you know. And uh, so that's just an excuse at the end of the day. I mean, a senior officer could have come out, took the situation in hand, and had a, a decent conversation with me. Could have got it on camera, and uh, no issue. But they didn't even. Even when they found out why I was there, they didn't show any respect in that uh, police station at all. 
and uh, and then on top of that, the, the lady, she, she was just dealing with it in a matter of fact way, like oh, uh, where have you been abused? Let me know, and you know we'll sort that one issue out. But it, you know there was, I could have kept her there all day if I told her all the uh, abusive situations that I've been in in street preacher. That's why I needed to go to the police station and have a proper discussion and dialogue about the issue and bring it to a national attention. But you couldn't even do that, even in your own country, even with your own police. So I've got no confidence in the state or in the police to hear the voice of Christians in this country. That, that's, that's my opinion. That basically the Christians are going to be thrown to the lions in this country. Um, yeah, so I'm at peace now. I'm uh, just relaxed and at peace, but I was really, really upset in that police station. Uh, and I didn't even go there to, I didn't even want to expose the police. I didn't want to do that. I wasn't there to do that. I was there to talk about these issues of discrimination. So, how crazy is that? You're in a police station and you've got to phone the police to tell them about the police in the police station. Is she saying they were all busy? They weren't busy, they were all talking. You could see them all talking. I could see them just round the edge talking, you know. So they weren't busy. They're just, they're just, uh, just being, uh, playing clever clogs, not wanting to get on camera, you know. Well, there we are, so. The moral of the story is that um, Christians are going to be persecuted in this country and the police, politicians, they're not going to do anything about it. You know, not going to do anything about it. You know, that's as simple as that really. So, there we are. Yeah, we're in Piccadilly Garden, uh, not Piccadilly, we're, in, we're near the cathedral, it's a nice day, so um, so there we are, you make of the video what you will, uh, I was pretty upset by it to be honest, and uh, it doesn't work well for the future of this country, um, yeah, like I said, if I was in it man, they'd have been out there, they'd have been having the senior officer out there, they've been giving me cups of tea and cake. Let's have a talk about it. Discrimination to the Muslim community. Oh, we can't have that. What, how can we help you, sir? Oh, oh gay. Oh, you're gay and, and discrimination to the gay community. Oh, oh, well, I'll tell you what. Never mind, you've got a camera. Let's go and get the BBC. We'll get it from film. This is terrible. When it's a Christian, nah, I don't even want to know. Don't want to bother. Oh, I'll take your details and, and then ask you silly questions about homophobia. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I think... Uh, it says the God of this world has blinded them. And uh, that's what I've learnt today, that the state's just blind. There's no sense in the state, there's no understanding of the state. And I, I don't... I don't want to talk to the police. I don't even want to go near the police after that. I don't trust the police. I'll always have a camera when I'm out preaching now. But I, I had faith in the police, but I don't have any faith in the police now. Not after that experience. I'll always have a camera, I'll always film it to watch my back. Because I, I know that at the end of the day, the state and the police aren't there for you. Uh, ultimately. So. So that's that's what I've learned from this. Just you're on your own, and uh, they're not going to listen to your concerns. And uh, ultimately, and so you're just on your own. That's what I think. All right, thank you for listening, and God bless. So you police out there, I had 100% respect for you. I, I I really really respected you. I really admired you. But as of today, this experience has made me see that I'm on my own, that Christians are on their own, that you're not here for Christians, you won't back Christians up, you won't support Christians, and you definitely won't deal with the national discrimination that's going on in this country as a police force, not only a police force, but as politicians, as politicians, uh, 
politicians and the police and every, every major organisation, you're not going to stand up for Christian rights in this country.